Paper Mill Drive in West Knoxville is back open after flooding forced it to shut down for hours. Right, Katana joins us live in West Knoxville where one business owner was especially affected by all this heavy rain. Right, good morning. Good morning, everybody. Let me tell you, it is a completely different scene out here this morning than the videos and the pictures that we saw of what Paper Mill Drive looked like just 12 hours ago. We saw this road essentially had turned into a river, but now the road itself is completely clear. Really just some small puddling that we're seeing, maybe in just some areas where the sidewalk or concrete is a little bit broken. You can see just a tiny bit of water here pulled up on the side of the road. And then if I take you across the street, this is Paper Mill Drive right behind me. As you can see, the road is completely clear, but we are seeing just some small traces of what happened here yesterday. So right here on the side of the road, what you see is just kind of this small limb, just a small branch of a tree that came down some sticks in the road as well, but nothing too major to be concerned about. And then right behind me is a creek and it is quite dark out here still this morning, so I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it, but this is kind of where some of that water is able to drain and pass through. We do want to show you some images of what we saw here yesterday because it really shows you just how quickly things can change. So take a look at your screen. Cars and people, they were completely uh, trapped by the rising water here. The Knoxville Fire Department does tell us that they responded to multiple calls around town as well. And take a look at this video that we're showing you right now. This shows some of that water rushing down the streets. First responders tell us the area is known for being flood prone, but we did speak to a business owner who says she has never seen it quite like this. The highest that I've ever seen it come up, um, it came up to just before our sign up here. The whole road was underwater um, and it was just kind of racing down. We saw a tree branch float past. It was pretty crazy. And the roads did start clearing at about six o'clock last night, but again this morning they're open, but we are preparing for another round of rain, so you should be extra careful heading out today. Rebecca has mentioned this and we'll continue to keep saying this this morning because it is so important to remember, please do not drive through flooded streets. It is super dangerous. You don't know what is exactly in that water. And of course, you're also putting the people at risk who are coming out there to have to help you get out of that water as well. Also a request from the Knox County Emergency Management Team this morning, if you do see any down trees or power lines, call 911, alert those authorities so that they can make sure to get those out of the way. They also say if you can stay off of the roads completely this morning, that is another uh, good thing to do as well, just because it does help first responders get to the people that they knew, do need to help. All right, we're going to go ahead and stay here all morning, of course, giving you the latest on the conditions that we're seeing and getting you prepared for the day. But for now, ladies, I'll send things back to you. It's amazing because, you know, I live in the area that was really flooded yesterday and I came into work this morning and everything was clear, not even debris in the roads. Well, things can change very quickly. Well, they do too, in, in flash flooding. I mean, yeah. we're, we're seeing what it looked like yesterday at Paper Mill Drive and what it looks like this morning is dramatically different, obviously. Raya, thanks for that live report.